We won't be amazed at your reaction. Must be jaw drop after reading the thumbnail. Yes, you read it right. A sea earthquake. Don't mistake them with tsunamis. Instead, these are different kinds of sea monsters. The word earthquake explains it all. So, let's dig in deep. This is Earthy Perks, with a new episode to reveal the reality and facts linked to sea earthquakes, and how they can create havoc. As we all know, the unusual movement of tectonic plates underneath Earth's surface initiates earthquakes. These earthquakes not only shake the upper crust of Earth, instead, they can devastate everything situated above. The same goes for the sea earthquakes. Earth's surface under the sea also comprises tectonic plates underneath. Any unusual movement in them can cause an earthquake, and this time it would shake the water above it. Hence the name, Sea Earthquake. It is generally believed that earthquakes in the sea are the major contributor to initiate tsunamis. But not all those quakes can do so. Several other factors play a vital role. For a sea earthquake to result in a tsunami, it should have a particular magnitude. There is a type of sea earthquake named thrust earthquakes that can result in tsunamis. The strike slip earthquakes are way higher magnitude, yet they are not capable enough to generate tsunamis. But, as we all know, it is a natural disaster, and you cannot predict anything about it. So in this regard, in several cases, the strike slip earthquakes also resulted in smaller tsunamis. Let's talk about various earthquakes' magnitudes and whether or not they can cause a tsunami. A sea earthquake that marks itself to be of a magnitude below 6.5 on the Richter scale cannot call for tsunamis. When it comes to scaling 6.5 to 7.5, well, they can surely cause some danger. Not a big destructive tsunami, but yes, in the epicenter, you may observe certain changes in sea level. So, if the magnitude of an earthquake is 6.5 to 7.5, it is not a big problem, but if it causes landslides or submarine slumps, then you should worry about it. Why? Because the landslides would result in larger waves, which ultimately turn into tsunamis. Next on the Richter scale is the magnitude between 7.6 and 7.8. In the epicenter of this sea earthquake, it can create destructive tsunami waves that spread all around. But at the distances away from the epicenter, only minor changes in sea level would be observed. So anything near the epicenter is going to be ruined by the destructive tsunami. Sea earthquakes with a magnitude of 7.9 or greater are a point of worry. More the magnitude, more would be the impact in epicenter and broader ranges. With this magnitude, local destructive tsunamis would result and sweep everything that comes in between. So just like earthquakes destroy the land, the same it does with the oceans, and comes up with a monster, the tsunami. Believe it or not, but we cannot stop this to happen. We cannot alter the after effects of a natural disaster or stop them by any means to occur. All we can do is hope and wish for them not to appear. Earthy Perks and Clarnia bring up an exciting offer. As a subscriber, tune to Clarnia.com to approach the world's classy home decor canvas wall art prints and get a flat $30 discount on ocean wall art. Use code EARTHYPERKS to avail of the deal.